So in this video, I'm going to be covering some of the basic features of debugging in Studio 7. The project we're going to use is following on from what we built up in the Studio 7 editor video. So we're going to cover basic breakpoints, code stepping, such as stepping into, over, out of functions, the functionality available to us in the breakpoints window in terms of managing breakpoints. We'll have a look at the call stack and see where functions are being called from and seeing if this call stack is as expected. Then in order to get the output that we expect, we're going to look at the compiler optimization in order to set it to a lower level. And finally, we're going to be covering a truly great studio feature, being able to attach to target. This means launching a debug session on the selected MCU without reset or uploading a new application. So you can see exactly where it might have got stuck. So what the project basically does is we set up the LED pin as an output. The switch, we enable interrupts on both edges and pull-ups. Then here we turn the LED on or off depending on the switch state which we get in which get state and all of this is triggered from the interrupt service routine so let's run the program and see if it works as expected we are going to left click just to set a breakpoint and then start debugging so as the project starts running you can see that it's running here at the top and also in the bottom left and now if we push the switch we hit the breakpoint. Now, an interesting question is, will this turn on the LED or not? So we step over the get state and we can step into the function which sets the LED. And stepping again, we step into the LED off function. So we haven't turned on the LED. And I, I guess this is expected, just running again to get back to where we were, since here we didn't necessarily have the switch as we actually checked to see whether the, the switch was pressed or not. So now if I hold the switch down as I step over, I can see that the switch state now returns a one where it was zero before. Okay, so now I can set a breakpoint on LED on and basically hit that. And I do. So let's just introduce a window to help us manage some of the breakpoints that we have in our project. So I'm going to search for break. And I can see debug windows breakpoints. So there's a breakpoints window. There's a data breakpoints, toggle, new breakpoint, new function breakpoint. So where is the, all of these coming from, these options in the quick launch view? You can see that under debug, windows, breakpoints and data breakpoints, toggle breakpoints, new breakpoints, function breakpoints. So basically the whole UI of Studio is searched, which I use all the time, this quick launch bar. So let's open the breakpoints window. What I'm going to show you here is you can enable or disable breakpoints. For instance, I've disabled this breakpoint now. I won't hit it. I'm just holding down the switch, stepping over. So you can see my state is one and I don't hit the LED on breakpoint. Other thing I can do is go to disassembly. And here you can see it very neatly opens the disassembly next to the lines of code that we're working on. Okay, call stack. And this is actually only available when debugging. If for instance, I stop debugging and try and look for call stack, doesn't come up and it was under debug windows and it's not there at all so I need, need to be debugging and then I can find debug windows call stack so let us run and hit the LED on breakpoint and here we can check the call stack and see that we are coming directly from vector 4 what is vector 4? Well, we should be coming from our ISR, right? So if we click here on the ISR, the definition, we can see that that is vector 4. And we can Alt-G and see that yes, port B interrupt um, is defined as vector 4. So our call stack is saying that we are coming into the LED on function directly from vector 4. And that is a little strange because we are actually coming from this LED set state function. In order to see the full 
path of how we get there. Let's go to project properties and we have to stop debugging and then go to optimization and let's try again holding down the switch and I hit LED on and now you can see it coming via LED set state as expected. So now we'd like to show off that feature about attaching to target without resetting the MCU. So what we need is some kind of function which will only get called in certain circumstances. So I'm going to create a function my mistake and I'm simply going to call a while one here and what I'm going to do is just in this while one call an ASM knob instruction because this can't be compiled out by the compiler. So now I'm going to just call this function. We should only end up here if we've triggered an ISR. I'm just going to program the part now and now attach the target. And you can see that we're basically sitting in the main while loop. Whereas we program again we trigger an ISR and we attach to target and here you can see we're sitting in this function so you can see how useful it is to be able to jump in without having to reset the MCU. Okay we're going to go on in the next video and cover some of the more interesting advanced features of Studio 7 debugging.